For the purposes of this primer, let's take a look at the storage array as a microcosm for the data center. An aggregate of connectivity, compute, and storage media bundled with software to provide storage services to the rest of the data center. In the past, it was a deep understanding of the capabilities of the storage array as constructed, and an equally deep understanding of the requirements of the servers to which it was supposed to be attached that helped us configure a LUN, the granular unit of measurement for storage administration. New requests for application servers would require additional exercises in order to build additional LUNs, and before the advent of virtualization, measuring the telemetry at the LUN level gave reasonable insight into the behaviors of the applications that ran inside them. This one-to-one -one relationship changed as virtualization took hold and became the de facto method for deploying applications in the data center. Bare metal application servers were replaced with virtualization hosts, and virtual machines were nested inside them. LUNs were now data stores, no longer mounted one-to-one, -one, but now one-to-many, adding additional complexity to the connectivity between the storage array and the virtualization hosts that they were mounted to. Further complicating the matter was the fact that those LUNs no longer represented the appropriate granular unit of management. LUNs as data stores now housed files, the primary construct for virtual machines to write their data. Making matters even worse, while the hypervisor understands a virtual machine construct, the storage array is completely unaware, unable to track changes, unable to determine why things that worked yesterday don't work today. Operational actions like deploying new virtual machines into an existing data store or migrating a virtual machine from one data store to another at times resulted in frustration and at others could be potentially disastrous. Organizations struggling with this lack of visibility resort to a slew of monitoring, management, and automation tools to try to bring this growing complexity under control. But the problem only worsens as the environment scales, resulting in a majority of operational cycles being wasted on a number of administrative actions and leaving very little time for innovation or other value-add initiatives. This paradigm of siloed staff, finger-pointing, and wasted cycles is simply not conducive to meeting the needs of an organization in the midst of a digital transformation. With our focus on resolving the issues created by repurposing LUNs to support virtual machines and compounded by the breadth and scale of virtualization in the modern enterprise, VMStore is built on a foundation of commodity hardware. At the center of our differentiation is Tintory OS, an operating system purpose-built to understand virtual machines instead of LUNs, and built around a core of monitoring, management, and automation capabilities required to support the dynamic churn and demanding performance requirements of highly virtualized environments. We deliver the VM Store solution as an easy-to-deploy appliance, from box to production, in 30 minutes without any professional services. VM Store is consumed as a single large data store without any LUNs or volumes to configure. VM Store then continuously polls the hypervisor manager to gain contextual awareness of the files that are stored on its file system. It is this contextual awareness that allows VM Store to take storage array level actions at VM level granularity, including snapshots, replication, as well as virtual disk level data synchronization. VM Store is also continuously modeling the workload characteristics of every individual virtual machine including block size, read-write ratio, IOPS, and other critical telemetry. This patented modeling capability informs VMStore how to best manage its performance resources, resulting in each virtual machine receiving a unique I.O. lane with performance resources sufficient to reach VMStore's self-imposed one millisecond per IOP target. We call this feature AutoQOS, and it empowers organizations to deploy any application within a virtual machine comforted by the fact that VMStore will automatically isolate that workload and self-optimize to meet the performance requirements of the VM in real time. But as anyone experienced in the realm of virtual machine storage performance knows, virtual machine storage latency can have many contributors. That's why VMStore's operating system also includes a powerful VM-level latency visualizer built on the foundation of its self-optimizing capabilities. VMStore can show you in real time the portion of a VM's storage latency that can be attributed to a host issue, the network between the host and the VMStore appliance, resource contention on the storage array itself, or even latency resulting from a VM-level QoS throttling policy. 
VM Store not only provides these insights via an intuitive administrative GUI, but also via a robust RESTful API. This API can also be leveraged to take advantage of these features and administrative actions through plugins and orchestration frameworks. The data that is generated and recorded from the autonomous optimization of the VM store in response to various virtual machine behaviors does not simply live and die within the appliance. Built in the mold of vCenter Server, Tintry Global Center collects this data from all VM stores deployed within an environment. Tintry Global Center then continuously processes this data to offer a single pane of glass capable of managing dozens of VM store appliances in a federated pool along with tens of thousands of individual virtual machines. Should a change, like the deployment of a new virtual machine, or a change in behavior of existing virtual machines, impose risk on the performance or capacity capabilities of a single VM store in the federation, Tintry Global Center will issue a series of recommendations based on the analysis of the data of how to re-optimize the placement of the virtual machines so as to mitigate that risk for as long into the future as possible, ensuring that any recommendation does not inadvertently introduce risk elsewhere in the federation. Tintry Global Center will also orchestrate the migration of the data between storage systems, taking advantage of data reduction technologies by directly moving a majority of the data between the arrays themselves without incurring host-based migration inefficiencies. In addition to Tintry Global Center, the data generated and recorded by individual systems is also uploaded to Tintry's global support framework as well as Tintry Analytics a powerful web-based AI-enhanced predictive analytics engine built on VM-level behaviors and the responsive actions taken by the VM store appliances according to those behaviors. With this data, we empower customers to understand the capacity and performance trends associated with not only their systems as individuals, but the entire environment as a whole. And beyond simplistic array-level or cluster-level sizing exercises, VM store's VM-level data coupled with Tintry Analytics' three-year historical awareness of that data, allows customers to simulate changes to applications constructed by aggregating the telemetry of individual VMs into a whole, or even predictively simulating how existing applications will behave on new VM store systems before making an investment. It has been our experience and the experience of our customers with VM Store that by deprecating LUNs and thereby enabling the management of virtual machines as objects that are natively understood by the storage environment, that these customers have reduced their operational overhead by as much as 95%, enabling them to focus on more innovation and more valuable initiatives. And while these intelligence-driven innovations represent a giant leap in technological capability, they result in an even more impressive feat for our customers. Tintry VM Store solutions routinely support the largest virtual machine environments in the enterprise today, often scaling into the tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of virtual machines across all major virtualization use cases and all vertical industries. But perhaps more impressive than the sheer scale in these environments is the fact that VM Store environments are most often administered not by a team of storage experts, but by a much smaller team of generalists. To accomplish this scale without the need for any storage expertise, while simultaneously reducing operational overhead, is the true mark of VMstore's technological capabilities, and one we will continue to expand upon into the future.